Hey, lads, come here for a moment. I need to ask you something. Have you seen the princess around? I haven't seen her all day. Wh what? You saw her go where? Uh, I told her not to do it by herself. Go to Lord Stuart. Tell him it might be an emergency. Now, go! Princess! Princess! Open your eyes! Please! No! Not good! Princess, you're alive! Oh, thank the old maker! Uh, are you hurt anywhere? Good. That is a relief. Why didn't you listen to me from before when I gave you an order to follow it? <sighs> I think it's best that you just return home for tonight. No, I do not want to hear any excuses. You are going home. Just go home, please. Damn this orc blood! Why did I get angry? She's probably gonna think that I hate her now. Relax, Benwick. Relax. Just reflect on this moment. Just reflect on it. And learn from it. Just reflect and learn. When you get home, you'll apologize and explain why you got angry. <sighs> Old Maker, guide my words. <sighs> 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 Come on, Benwick. Get it together. Just finish your work and get home as soon as possible. Uh, I don't know. Should I go in? Uh, maybe I'll come back another time. Wait a minute. Berwick, what are you doing? This is your house. Uh, just man up. Or orc up. Or, uh, I don't even know anymore. Okay, okay. Berwick, breathe. <sighs> don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Wait a minute. Is something cooking? Princess? 
What are you doing? Um, well, um, uh, well, yes, I, I am a bit hungry, um, but, well, hold on, it, <sighs> may I assist your cooking? I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have gotten that angry at you. I only did it because... I was afraid that I lost you. I am... so... so sorry. Please forgive me. You've already forgiven me? But... But why? I... I got mad at you. I... I thought you would have hated me and... and moved out of my place. Wait. You heard me say not again? I guess there's no hiding it. Do you recall when we were in the town? I said to you that I used to work in mine and that I was at a tavern, drinking myself away. And at the tavern, that's where I met Lord Stuart, and decided to work with him. Well, the thing is, I never quit the mines, because there was no mine to return to. I was a retired veteran working in the mines, trying to forget about what happened during the events. And I had a friend with me in my group. He was my responsibility. And he was my brother. So, he went into the mines to collect what few ores were left. But they didn't warn us that there was flammable gas deeper within the mines. As soon as we heard the warning, I knew something bad was about to happen. I ran as fast as I can into the mines. Screaming for him to run and get out of there. And then... Boom. I ducked through the rubble. Pulling him out of the flames and fire. Trying to help him breathe. But as soon as I got out and saw the light... <sighs> it was already too late. He died, right there in my arms. He was my responsibility. And I let him down. The mines were shut down. I became jobless for a while. But you already know the rest. Went to a tavern, drank away, had some commotion, 
got angry at the commotion. Then a man, he offered me a position. And now, I'm his foreman, or overseer, in other ways. That is why I don't want anyone to go alone or to do anything alone. No matter how strong you think you are, no matter how fast or smart or witty you are, you can never do things on your own. Because you're always going to need somebody to help you to lend you a hand, or even just to sit and listen. Oh, you don't need to apologize, princess. Well, thank you for understanding. Hey, I'm not a big softy. What are you talking about? Wait, you also heard my commotion from outside? Oh, so embarrassing. It's not cute. I'm a strong, scary orc. Half orc, whatever. Fine, fine. I'm your big softy, but if you tell anybody else that I'm a softy, uh, I don't know what I'll do. Just please don't tell anyone, please. On one condition? And what is that? I have to take you out to dinner? Wh what? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm serious. Oh. Alright. Fair enough. You have yourself a deal. And I will honor that deal. Oh, trust me when I say this. Lord Stuart has connections. So I'm pretty sure Lord Stuart can make something happen. Well, of course. I am his foreman, after all. You know, you're quite cute when you make demands. Oh, oh. Is that blushing I see? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. Now, shall we get eating? I'm starving. <laughs> Looks like you're starving as well. Well, let's dig in. Oh, and, uh... Princess, thank you for, for, for not running away from me. You are a truly special and wondrous person. There's still some things that I'm still learning about you. And there's still some things you're learning about me. But, we'll get there eventually. Alright, well, I'm ready to eat. <laughs> Let's dig in!